Okay, this is the 744T Sound Devices Sound Recorder. We use it for film production and, and other events at Oak Park High School. I'll start off by talking about installing the battery for the sound devices. Before you install, you should wake up the battery. This one you can see here, it's asleep, now it's awake. Those four bars have, have uh, activated. We have an adapter that's in here which adapts um, the sound devices recorder to these gold mount batteries. So I'm looking at the curve here, the D, and I just insert it in, making sure again that the battery is awake, and then I close the battery up. This is our XLR cable. This is a sound cable, left, right, and X is ground. We usually only use the one track when we're doing a sound recording for cinema. And that is available. I'm just gonna open this up on the side here so you can see. So we have four tracks of audio that can be recorded into the sound device's sound recorder. There's track one, track two, track three, and track four. And uh, these are um, AES inputs right here, and we don't normally use those. They're, they're like mini XLRs. So <clears throat> we're gonna input um, our cable into the track one right here. And I'm just gonna, oops, that's the wrong end. I'm looking at this little lip there and I'm making sure that it's gonna go in with that there. And I clip that in. And again, I should hear a click. There's a really small switch right here. And if that is, right there, then your sound recorder is not gonna work. That's the line in. What we wanna do is have it, make sure that it is on mic one in. I'm just gonna click that in again. And that is um, connecting our microphone. The next step over here, you can see this is our headphones in and our headphone leveler right there. So I'm just going to insert our headphone and it clips in just like that. One thing I will say about these headphones <clears throat> is uh, when we are putting them away, we do not do this, okay? When you coil headphones like that, what you are left with is a coil that looks like this, where it's been, sometimes it's been damaged, okay? so. What we do is when we put these away, we just basically go like this and put them into their storage case so we don't wrap our cables around. So here we have the front of the 744T recorder and uh, you can see that there's a power indicator light right here and uh, that means the battery's uh, connected and I just press that power button to start it up. So uh, the screen has started. There is some damage to the screen. It's got a little black sort of uh, LCD, some burnt pixels, some dead pixels there, uh, but it doesn't affect the um, operation. So um, the main thing here, uh, I'm just gonna go over our main setup. Here's our menu button. We're gonna use that quite a bit. And uh, on the side here is a dial, and this dial, it clicks, click, 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 and it also presses in, and that that is how we uh, tend to operate our uh, menu and so forth. We press our menu and uh, what the main thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna scene, we're gonna record our scene name and number. So I go to number seven on the menu and I press it in and I can scroll down to add new entry, press it like that and I will call, I will say demo. Dello, oops, I've made a mistake. Okay, so what can I do? I can go back. There's, there's little indicator lights here. That's an up and down. It means that this is now an up and down key. 
and this is check mark and X and then there's these little arrow buttons see the it's basically saying that button is turned into an arrow so I can go back dem demo and I'll just call this demo 2 press in now that that's done I will have to confirm that by pressing check mark check mark again and then I press exit notice all of those indicator lights are all the the little arrows and stuff are gone because we're not in menu if I press menu they're back check mark X so the X out to the menu I just press that okay a few additional buttons and things that happen around here um, number one this is our backlight if you turn it on it's, I, I don't know if it's coming across there but if I turn it on the whole screen lights up and in darkness is very useful we use it often uh, number two this is our input that is uh, track what that means is track one is going into or input one is going into track A and we only have one input right now uh, we could have up to four as I said and uh, we normally don't have more than two um, and so our inputs should be like this one blue light saying track one going to or uh, input one going to track A however I can um, adjust the, the input routing by holding down the uh, stop button and pressing the input button and you can see we got we get a number of configurations this is the most common this is the second one if we've got two microphones we would have one track going to or input one going to track A and then we would also have track two going to or uh, input two going to track B that's if we have two microphones but we normally don't we just I'm just gonna go back to uh, this is our main okay so that's what it should look like over here we've got some indicator lights we've got one green light saying that there's phantom power or 48 volt power going to track one that's the power of the microphone if we don't have 48 volt power going to track two then that microphone probably won't work how do we turn that on go to menu I'm just gonna go to record input to 48 volt phantom power I press it in and I say on and you'll see the green light lights up but we don't have a microphone so I'm gonna turn it off green light turns off it's gonna have press X there over here is telling us that that we are recording into the in hard drive and the CF card with those two little green lights right there um, if you remember before I talked about the little input switch and if it's in the wrong place you're gonna have flashing yellow light right there so watch how I switch this if this got knocked you see that we get an error light going hey there's a problem here I hope you know that that switch is in the wrong place so I'll come here I'm just gonna switch that back and we're we're back uh, last thing uh, that ha that happens all the time is what are we listening to and that's it says headphones are listening to A and B that means it's that A is going to one ear and B is going to the other so you're only getting sound out of one ear uh, the setting that we usually do and I'm just gonna dial I just dial this black dial let's go back to 1 1 and that means that input 1 is in your left ear and input 1 is in your right ear and so then you get nice clear sound in your headphones okay so now we've got our microphone connected and uh, you can see the indicator lights right here and um, if you take a look make sure those headphones are on the right if you take a look at the bottom here it says minus 50 minus 40 minus 30 minus 20 minus 12 zero remember what I you know our target really is to be around minus six and that would be our ideal circumstance so you can see that um, with me talking right now I'm not reaching that minus six so I'm gonna mix this first of all I'm gonna get the microphone as close as I possibly can to my subject and then I'm gonna mix this and see if I can get that red one red there's one red dot and there's my two red dots and that is exactly where we would want 
um, our subject when they're talking to hit that two two dots and that's going to give us a point where we can we can do some really good work in post once that mix is set and remember if somebody is yelling or something like that um, we try not to adjust this while they're talking but if you're familiar with the lines you might go okay well I'm going to turn it down this is when they start sort of screaming on set so I'll turn it down a little bit and then I'll turn it back and we're always trying to hit that two red dots that's the ideal circumstance so now when I press record I'll press record and you'll see that it says demo 2 take 01 T01 and uh, that's what's recording right now and if I press stop then it stops recording and uh, it tells you the last thing that was recorded demo 2 take 01 now that means that the next take will be take 02 as I've said before, this uh, recorder can uh, is getting a little old, so it can run into some problems where where uh, we run into errors. A couple of common errors: um, if I press record, and um, and and there's a, a hard drive problem, then sometimes you'll see. Let's see if it pops up here. Okay, it's not popping up right now. Sometimes you'll see slow blinking at the C, like uh, on on one of these media things there, and it's having trouble writing to that media because there's a, um, some type of a data error. In which case, it, the take is probably not working, and so you may uh, you may want to cut at that point. The other error is that sometimes it will not shut down. So here. I'll just check to see how this shutdown goes. Closing the files. And you can see there's it's taking quite a long time to shut down. Um, And if it doesn't shut down, then, then what I usually do is I will come here and I'll pull the, the power to the battery. And uh, that's just a couple of, of weird error problems that it gets. This is a cheat sheet for sound recorders. Uh, it's usually in the sound recorders bag. And um, as you can see over here, this is just a little bit about the roll order. Uh, most people get that down pretty quickly. Set, roll sound, speed, roll camera, mark, etc. Over here are some sound recorder's responsibilities, uh, which is just a reminder of what are the things that you should be doing as a sound recorder, sound recordist. Uh, and then we have a very nice sort of layout that indicates um, all the different elements of the LCD screen on the sound recorder and gives them their heading. And then this is a very nice graphic of the uh, sound recorder. Again, all the different little indicator lights and so forth. Just a reminder here. Um, so you can see that minus 12 is the one red. And uh, our goal would be to go, you know, minus, you know, about minus six, which is the two red. <clears throat> On the back, we have uh, a number of menu items. And I bolded the ones that are really important to make sure that you get those. Uh, if there's a problem with the recorder, go through and reset all the bold ones. And, uh, and then, so beyond what we call our critical settings, then we have um, a couple other functions. These, these we, we wouldn't use very often. And then this is... Uh, more settings if the sound recorder is still having a problem you can go through and check those settings but other than that that's it